Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the Yakima Long Haul 4 Bike Rack Carrier here on our 2020 Winnebago Navion. Now this is gonna be an excellent way of getting four bikes to the trails or wherever you are in your destination, your RV, as this guy is gonna be rated for the heavy duty application on being the back of a motorhome. Now a lot of times you're gonna get a lot more kind of pressure, strength, and a lot of vibration on the back of your RV since we are so far back from our rear axle. So you are gonna need something that is built to be tough and hold up on the back of an RV. The long haul is definitely one of the pride and joys of Yakima. Has been tested thoroughly on the back of RVs. So you're gonna have no trouble at all of making sure that you get your bikes to where you wanna go. With the 37 and a half pound capacity per bike as well, you're not gonna have any trouble of getting most of your standard and mountain bikes to your destination. Talking about it though, we are seeing nice three point of contact here so we're getting nice stability of these bikes on the back of our rack the only thing with it though you aren't going to be able to transport any kind of carbon frame bike since this is a hanging style and we do have that frame contact we will end up deteriorating and warping those carbon frames a couple other things to look out for too if you have any women's bikes step through bikes or maybe kiddos bikes you might have a slight issue making this horizontal frame purchase actually work for yourself unfortunately you might have to pick up a bike adapter bar to make sure we have a nice horizontal frame to latch onto however they're not going to be too crazy to actually make sure that this happens and hopefully we're not going to have any trouble out of the gate but just something to be careful and mindful of make sure you're looking at that horizontal frame on your own bikes on the end of each here too you will see have that yakima to yakima standard bottle opener on either end nice so we can have that on the back of the rv that way we can have this guy hanging out and it is ready for us at our campsite on the inside too you are going to see that nice little spoke there for that included cable lock that will come with all of your bikes and that actually is on the back side here of the mast so as you can see all we have to do string that through all four of our frames of our bike lock that in and therefore all of our bikes will be nice and secured on the back of our vehicle or i'm sorry on, on our rack in the back of our rv here so we won't actually have to worry about it and one great thing about that too that is utilizing yakima's same key system what that means it's also going to be key to like to our hitch lock that we're going to break down later in the video but it also is going to be key to like to a host of different accessories what can be great about it you can go ahead and get all those locking cores actually keyed alike to a host of different accessories of yakima products so great little kind of side little thing that they also add in there well the cradles also work very very well utilizing yakima's zip strip technology these guys are just nice little kind of ratchet strap frame hooks that simply go in slide down on our frame and make sure we are nice and secure you'll notice it has a little padding at the top there i do like that it does a great job preventing any kind of damage to our frame and on the inside too you get a nice little groove there on the cradles and a little bit of shock absorption that great that groove is great to make sure our brake cables don't actually start rubbing up against our bike causing any kind of damage to our frame or our paint so love to see that well it doesn't get to take us any time at all to take these guys off i just simply want to pop each strip but that does bring us to our anti-sway cradle. So you'll notice here on our last hold, we actually do have a nice little anti-sway cradle. What that does really reduces a lot of the movement that you're gonna see of your bike, brings it way more in line. As you can see, you can get them really nice and tight, really starts reducing that vibration and that movement we're gonna feel. And that's one thing with hanging style racks that you're gonna have to look out for, you know? These bikes, as you get more and more up here, are gonna start swaying and make a little bit of contact. Nice that we have that anti-sway. However, never hurts to also get like a cam buckle or something something to actually kind of interact with your bikes make sure they aren't kind of flopping making any kind of contact one thing i did want to point out though here on this end you can see our handlebar is making a little bit of contact here on our ladder in this position so you can see that might be a little bit of movement here now our handlebars are pretty long i think if you had a shorter handlebar set not going to have too many issues with it at all but one thing to look out for as well also a thing you could do make sure your bike is hanging the other way that way your handlebars aren't coming in contact with this guy and that just actually means making sure those cradles are set properly properly when you assemble the carrier. So not going to be too hard with that guy though, but to take it off, I just simply want to walk right up and walk the bike off and already ready to ride. So very easy to utilize, mounting it just as easy as well. Just simply have to walk it up. And I just like to go ahead and replace these zip strips. The one thing with them, not a really good place to keep them other than on the carrier themselves, or at least a handy dandy pocket wherever you might be. Now with any hitch mounted accessory though, we are gonna be adding a little bit of length to our vehicle, already being in our motorhome, definitely gonna be a lot of length that we wanna consider. So let's go ahead and take a look to see what we're working with here. From the rear of that extension from our bumper and to the very end of our carrier is putting us right at 
37 and a half inches there from the rear of our vehicle. So nothing too crazy. You know, you are getting four bikes up on here. So definitely gonna be a little length to consider already, but we do have a way of quickly shortening that down to the top here. We just have a little gray lever. I'm just gonna simply pull that to me. It's gonna allow my mask to swing down and click into position here. So as you can see, it is gonna be staying right here. Not gonna to be too much play in this position. I doubt we'd feel it all, especially being in the motorhome. But as you can see, not gonna be getting anywhere close to my vehicle, which I do love to see. And now we've gone ahead and shortened down a lot of that length. Taking a look here, you can see that we are working with, and with it fully extended out here, about 12 inches with these kind of with the zip strips extending so probably a little bit less than that so only one foot extended from the back of motorhome now definitely cutting down a lot of that space already not going to be that much extended from the ladder so nothing going to be really that much different if you are kind of used to it so great little aspect there now another dimension to keep in mind though is our clearance now being up in the motorhome don't think we're going to have any issues with this especially this being with the hanging style not going to have any issues with our bike but i just want to go ahead give us a rough estimate here to what we're working with from the bottom of the ground to the very end of our assembly here, it's putting this right at 20 and three quarter inches there to the top. So tons of space, especially this being on the motorhome. Don't think we're gonna have any issue. Just keep in mind, so those front wheels go up, the back will down, and so will our hitch mounted accessories. Now, one great thing to point out here is how this guy actually sits on our motorhome. This is where you're getting a lot of your strength from. You're getting this nice double welded plate here. This is making a solid shank, this bracket takes a lot of that kind of stress out of our carrier, makes it way easier, make sure we are gonna be nice and secured with our with our bikes on the back of this guy. You will see too, we have that two inch shank for our two inch hitches today. And on the inside, we do have a threaded anti-rattle hitch bolt. Now those guys are pretty standard across the industry, but they're great to see. You're gonna reduce a lot of that play that you'd feel. So as you can see, I'm shaking this carrier. It's actually in line with our frame. That makes for a nice smooth ride for ourselves our bike rack, and especially our bikes. And that's really the name of the game, especially on the back of the RV, trying to reduce that play as much as we can. On the inside too, you'll notice we just have that little locking core from Yakima. We mentioned as well that that will be key to like to our locking core on our integrated cable lock. And again, you can go ahead and get those key to like to a host of different accessories from Yakima if we do have that repertoire in our arsenal. Well, the long haul does an excellent job of transporting four bikes. Also, you know it's gonna hold up on the back of the motorhome as it has been tested. And I think you're gonna be hard pressed to find four bike carrier that is gonna be perfect on the back of an RV. Well, I think that about does it for our look at the Yakima long haul here on our 2020 Winnebago Navion. I'm Bobby, thank you for watching. Now we're gonna go ahead and take it on our test course. First, we'll start with the slaloms. This is going to show the side to side action. It's kind of gonna mimic the movements that you'll see whenever you're driving down the road normally. And now with the fold speed bumps, these are going to be pretty much like normal speed bumps. You get to see the up and down action of the bike rack and see how it holds up. Now we'll have the alternating speed bumps. This is gonna be more so like the uneven roads and some of that uneven terrain you might be traveling on.